Hi everyone, I hope that you're all doing great today. I am back with a very fun video that's gonna be a part of my luxury series that I'm doing at the moment on this channel. Today I'm gonna share with you all of my best luxury purchases. There are a few accessories so I'm gonna get started because I have a lot of things to show you. I'm gonna start with this pair of sunglasses. These are the Audrey sunglasses from Celine and you might remember them because they were really really trendy back in 2012-2013 and I really wanted to get a pair but to buy them brand new was clearly out of my budget so I finally found a perfect pair on Vestia Collective which is a pre-loved website that I absolutely adore and ever since I got them I've been wearing them non-stop they're huge, they're very black, they have polarized lenses so they are perfect for very harsh sun and I just wear them pretty much every time the sun is out this is the pair that I reach for the quality is impeccable and I couldn't be happier with my purchase Next, I wanted to talk about my Hermes belt, which technically wasn't a purchase, it was a gift, but I really had to mention it. So back in the day, for as long as I could remember, my dad always had an Hermes belt. His was um, gold and brown, I think. He was pretty much wearing it every single day, and I was, I was jealous, basically. I really wanted mine, I thought it looks super stylish, and my parents actually surprised me for my 16th birthday, I think, and got me one. And I was just, I was over the moon and I wore that belt every single day for years and years on end. Back in the day, I was always wearing like low rise skinny jeans and I would always wear my belt with it. Now I changed the leather recently because this was the one that I had uh, when I first got it. The thing about Hermes belt is that you can take the edge off and switch up the leathers which is amazing because it means that you can have multiple belts with uh, different colors and different sizes so that you can have one that you can wear with the jeans and then a more high-waisted one that you can wear with dresses or skirts. So um, the edge that I have is silver and I used to have this leather uh, which was black on one side and then this beautiful turquoise on the other side but as you can see this has been well loved. I wore this belt so so much that the leather is pretty much destroyed. I still use it sometimes, especially on the turquoise side, just because it is so beautiful. But a few years ago, I decided to change the leather. And to be fully honest with you, this leather isn't from Hermes because the prices have increased tremendously over the past 10 years. Um, so I, I didn't get one from Hermes. I actually found this one in a beautiful like handmade shop in Corsica a few years ago and I decided to get the orange one with the beige on the other side. It, felt, it fits the edge perfectly. Now this is not something that I wear every day but I still wear it a ton and it's something that I can see myself holding on for the rest of my life and maybe pass down to children just because it's such a beautiful piece and there's no reason that I cannot enjoy it for years and years to come. I would say though, if you want to get one for yourself, I would 100% look the pre-loved way because brand new, these are crazy expensive right now. My mom looked into getting one a few years ago and she was just horrified by the prices because she remember how much she paid for mine back in 2005. And um, she decided to actually recycle my dad's one. So she got the gold Hermes um, hardware and she bought another, another leather where I bought mine. So I really, really love this belt. It's something that I'm gonna keep for the rest of my life. Next, I have a pair of boots. These, as you can see, have been worn a ton and are really, really well loved. These are the pistol boots from Acne. I'm not sure that they do the style anymore, but you can definitely find a lot of pairs on the pre-love market. I got this pair of boots and ever since I got them, this is by far my most worn pair of shoes. I spend all fall and all winter wearing them. I even wear them during spring and summer with dresses. I love them because they're a little bit edgier than your traditional boots. They have this really big zip on the outside. But as you can see, mine have seen better days. Nonetheless, I still love them. I still wear them. They are super, super comfortable. I once spent the whole day in London like left Brussels in the morning, went to spend the day in London and came back. I, I think I must have walked like 15 or 20 kilometers wearing these and my feet didn't hurt. I absolutely love these boots. 
Um, I got them in blue suede as well, but I don't wear them nearly as much as these. I actually got a new pair, well, a pre-loved pair, but a new pair for me. But the seller did a mistake with the sizes because I wear a 38 and she said they were 38, but turns out they're 37. So I'll probably have to resell those because they are too small for me. But I really want to get a new pair that looks nearly new because as you can see mine are a little bit shiny. That's due to one of my mistakes um, because usually when you, black, when you buy them they are completely matte black which is so so beautiful. But these are one of the best purchases I ever made. Next of course I have my lock bag from Valentino that I mentioned in last week's video which was my handbag collection. I got this bag in 2016 and it's by far the handbag that I wear the most. I wear it with just everything because the color is such a neutral, it goes with absolutely everything in my wardrobe, no matter if it's a casual look, if I'm going to a wedding. I have traveled the world with this bag because it's so beautiful. Every time I see it in my closet, I just have a huge smile on my face because I still love it. Like it's the first day I got it. And since I'm talking about Valentino, I had to mention my pair of rock studs. Now these were really, really trendy back in the day. Every fashion blogger had them. And I got mine pre-loved again on Vestiaire Collective because I didn't want to pay full price for them. I decided to get the one with like the kitten heel and the three straps. I love these shoes because of the color this it's like this dusty pink they go with absolutely everything I wear them ton because they are super comfortable although the heel is super low which makes them super comfortable it actually makes your legs look super long because you have all the straps going on on your ankles these are just perfect shoes to wear to weddings to wear to parties to dinner out with friends these are just by far my most worn pair of high heels in my collection. Yes, they were super trendy and people might think they're out of style, but I still love mine and wear them a lot. And finally, the last purchase that I have is this scarf from Louis Vuitton. I think I must have gotten it um, back in 2014, something like that. This was on my wish list for the longest time because I remember as a teen, I saw a picture of Ashley Olsen wearing it at an airport or something. And I was like, oh my God, that scarf is so beautiful. I love a good leopard print. To me, leopard is pretty much a neutral. And I always dreamed of having, I was like, whenever I'll be a grown up, I have this scarf. And I actually found it pre-loved. It was in perfect condition a few years ago and I got a really good price on it. Um, the woman that I bought it from actually worked for, for LVMH and she didn't want to keep it because as you can see it has like this frayed edge and you have a little bit of pulling with the threads. It's something that I absolutely don't mind. I still love this cap, the quality, like it's so soft and so warm. It's something that I always travel with because it's so great to have with you with, if you're on the plane or if you're on the train. It's, it's super stylish and it's something that I will keep for a very, very long time. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my best purchases. If you have any questions about any of the items that I mentioned, make sure to pop that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with my worst luxury purchases. Take care everyone, bye.